The DCU, made by James Gunn. We have no idea what to expect except for Superman coming out, now titled from Superman Legacy. Superman, which is in production right now in 2025. I made a video about this a little bit ago in the past. I want my full updated opinions, guys, right now. My 2024 thoughts and concerns and stuff like that right now. And I want to go through it with you guys. What do I think the first five years of James Gunn's DC Universe, what can we expect and what can we not expect? Let's talk about all the product, projects that have been confirmed. Right now, we have Superman confirmed. We have Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow confirmed, Batman Brave and the Bold, Swamp Thing, and The Authority. Now, these are all the movies that are confirmed in the DC Universe right now that are titled under the Chapter 1 Gods and Monsters thing. So, James Gunn has never said how long how long of a year span is Gods and Monsters. Everybody is assuming five years. It could be a five to ten year plan for a chapter like this. I have no idea, but from... Projects go, this is what we got confirmed. Those are the movies. The shows, we have Peacemaker Season 2, even though it's not canon with Season 1, so I don't know what he's going to call it. Then we have the Waller TV show. We have Paradise Lost, which is about Themyscira show, which I'm going to talk about that in just a second. We have Lanterns and Booster Gold shows, and we have Creature Commandos, which is an animated show. So we have to assume one thing. I personally would agree with this, and I guarantee all you guys would too. Within the first five years of the Chapter 1 Gods and Monsters, we will get a Just Sleep film. And it's going to end with a Just Sleep film. It only makes most sense, right? And I'm assuming the five-year five, five year mark, that's when we're going to get the first James Gunn's Just Sleep. We have no idea what characters besides Superman and Batman and probably Green Lantern that are going to be in this Justice League. We could get different characters of all time. But I mean the big trinity being Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, I would imagine, are in the forefront. So, like I was saying, I expect to get more, um, a couple, maybe one or two more shows announced coming up in the next six months that are going to be animated with creature commandos um like i said we're going to be going back from live action to animated to even video games being canned to the dc universe which i don't know how to feel about that still but i expect to hear an announcement soon but paradise lost is a weird show for me to think about because recently they talked about wonder woman not having her own film for a while and I feel like if you're going to have the Justice League film happen, you're going to need to introduce this Wonder Woman character and who's now going to be playing her in that. And I feel like Paradise Lost is a working title and we're actually going to get a Wonder Woman show instead. And I feel like that's how they're going to wrap in the Trinity with Superman and Batman being in the forefront and then Wonder Woman on her show on HBO Max and then another character. That's another thing too I want to talk about. If you're going to do a Justice League film, it, like, obviously, this is all speculation. This is how it should go. If you got five years planned out, the, in the fifth year, there should be a Justice League film. That's what I would think. But you really do need, whether whoever the core Justice League members are, there needs to be three films that are setting up three different characters, the main three, and I was thinking Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. We already have the Lantern show coming out, so I'm assuming the Lanterns will be in Justice League in that film. So that's all taken care of. But who else will be? Flash. Are we going to get Aquaman? Who are the other two to complete the Unite the Seven? Mark. I have no idea. But I would like to say that I feel like within sooner than later, we will hear another film that's going to get announced for another major key JL player, whether it's Aquaman, whether it's Flash, I kind of hope it's Flash, that will get introduced in his own movie, and then we'll introduce some other characters in the actual big Justice League film. From what I've been hearing, the authority is what the Justice League goes up against. I don't know if that's true or not. And I think that'd be actually really cool to see the villain film before the actual Justice League Assemble film. I think that'd be really cool if that's what James is thinking. But like I said, we are in a pre-existing world with superheroes existing already in the Superman movie. We already know Guy Gardner is going to be in the Superman movie. We already know um, a couple other superheroes are already existing in this world. And as for Batman, we know that Batman's got the Bat family already. If he's with Damian Wayne in this film that's coming up, we know Red Hood exists. We know another Robin exists, and we know Nightwing exists, and Batgirl exists. So we're finally going to get the Bat family on screen for the first time ever. 
As for the Green Lantern, we, we know John Stewart from the Lantern show. John Stewart and Hal Jordan are going to be in that show. So we have Lanterns. We're going to have a Batman. We're going to have a Superman. As for Wonder Woman, Flash, and Aquaman, we don't know yet. And I'm assuming we're going to hear some confirmation about their projects coming up real soon. More or less, I think we're going to hear either Flash or a Wonder Woman. That's what I really think. I honestly, without with, well, without spoiling, obviously I have no idea, but the Supergirl movie is kind of a question mark that if she's going to be included in the Justice League film too. I honestly think she will be. But as for the Paradise Lost show, the Themyscira show that James has been calling it, I feel like it's a Wonder Woman show. I really like full on with Diana in the show. That's what I personally. But with that being said, for a five year plan, what I would like to see is for the, at least the core Justice League members, I'd like to see the Trinity and possibly we, if we can get the Trinity, which is Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman, whether her show is on HBO Max or a film and we have the Lanterns already, you can establish two characters in a Justice League film. I don't want a repeat of how the Snyderverse got fucked up when you introduced three characters in the Justice League film, and it was rushed. So I want that formula. We're starting off with Superman, then we're doing a Batman film, and then we're doing a Supergirl film, and then we're doing The Authority. I like that idea, especially from what rumors I've been hearing is the authorities are going to be the villains for the Justice League to fight. And I think that is an awesome idea and I think having the villains get set up in their own film first then that way you don't need to really set up too much there's not a lot going on besides a big battle in the Justice League film but with all that being said guys that's what I expect to see within the first five years of James Gunn's DCU do you guys agree with me or not let me know your thoughts below thanks for watching subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys